Hello. My name is Simone Braga. For those listening to me for the first time, God bless you, mightily. Here you discover the mystery of the mighty verses from the book of Psalms. The Psalm 24. From the reign of David, who ruled over the Hebrews some 1,000 years before Jesus' coming, Jerusalem became the most important city for the people of Israel. With the arrival of the Ark of the Covenant, the most crucial piece of furniture in the Jewish religion, David engaged in the organization of services and preparations for constructing the temple, which would be carried out during the reign of his son Solomon. Psalm 24 was likely written at the time of the arrival of the Ark, which had been neglected for decades before David's reign. He encouraged the people to seek the Ark, which symbolically represented the throne of God. They took this crucial piece of furniture to Jerusalem in a grand procession of festive commemoration. David participated in this procession but was not dressed as a king. He wore a linen garment of the kind worn by priests and entered with the ordinary people. The focus was not on David but another king. The king of glory who arrived in Jerusalem was the Lord himself. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that is contained in it, the world and those who dwell in it. He founded it on the seas, and on the streams, he established it, verses 1 and 2. The psalm begins in an exalted tone of worship of the God of the universe. The Philistines who had taken the Ark of the Covenant believed in local and limited gods. Two hundred years after David, the prophet Jonah, an Israelite, though he could flee from God's dominion. In Jewish times, the thought was widespread that God cared only for the Jews. David's language, however, reflects an understanding of God's sovereignty. He is not one among many gods but the only God who reigns over the entire world. The second verse presents the fundamental argument for this biblical doctrine of the universal kingdom of God. He created the world, so he exercises complete authority over all of his creation. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel All Faith Theory. I kindly ask you to do it because it will help our channel, and the YouTube algorithm will understand our content is reasonably suitable for hearing. Please click on the bell, and leave your comments. I would also like you to pass this audio on to your friends, as everyone will have the opportunity to listen to our new content. First and foremost, our mission is to pass the predominant thing, the Lord's words. Psalm 24 The earth is the Lord's, and everything in it, the world, and all who live in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend the hill of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to an idol or swear by what is false. He will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from God his Saviour. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Selah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, lift them up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. 
Who is he, this King of glory? The Lord Almighty, he is the King of glory. Selah. Pray with me, our Father, with great faith. Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom comes, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God will bless your victory mightily. Now repeat after me, Glory to Lords and the Holy Spirit, Amen. I love you all, thank you all for listening. In the name of God, please subscribe to the channel. God bless you forever. Goodbye.